Hey everyone, welcome to the 13th installment in the 2019 Winter Webinar Training Series. Today's topic is Propozol. So normal agenda will cover what is Propozol, the active ingredient Propiconazole, efficacy, how Propozol works, its common applications, when to apply, the cost of an application, and the label and SDS sheet. So what is Propozol? Uh, it's one of our Arborjet systemical injectable fungicides. Uh, it's 14.3% propiconazole, um, which should be diluted with water, uh, whether you're injecting it or spraying it. Um, it's best when used proactively or at least at the early stages of infection. It's very effective for vascular wilt and acute fungal diseases. It does have a long residual of two years and one liter will treat 10 10 inch trees uh, at the um, at the low rate or no at the at yeah at the low rate or an acre and a half so it's efficacy looking at propozol on oak wilt uh, propiconazole has been a an active ingredient in the market for a long time because of its efficacy uh, so this study was actually done back in the late 90s um, by uh, the USDA uh, looking at oak wilt spread through root grafting in red and red oak. Uh, so injection was made in 1998, and for those two years, 98 and 99, they did not see a single tree die. Uh, and even in the third year, 2000, only one tree died. Uh, they did see one tree show some wilting crown in late season, but it did not die. That was probably the tree that died the following year. Uh, so you can see that propiconazole is a very effective active ingredient when it comes to fighting oak wilt. Uh, but again, the trick is to get it in there early because oak wilt does spread and take out your tree very quickly. Uh, the other major disease that propozole is injected for is anthracnose on sycamores, uh, and that's sycamores outside of California. California sycamores, which is a slightly different uh, breed, it's a cousin of regular sycamore. Um, again, that's better used with foster jet. Um, but regular sycamores with anthracnose, you can see uh, propiconazole, which is the blue bar at the bottom, is extremely effective as well. Uh, the y-axis, the, the higher up you go, is the, your higher percentage of infected incidents or infected leaf incidents. So the farther up in that graph, the more anthracnose you're seeing. So looking at some data from 2014, um, you're seeing that a tree that was proactively treated with, with propozol uh, kept its percentage of infection under 5%. So how does the product actually work? What it does, uh, it also creates an unfavorable host environment. Uh, it interferes with mitotic cell division of the fungus. So this actually attacks the fungus. This doesn't make the tree fight harder. This actually goes after the fungus. Um, acid salts of the propiconazole will destroy fungal cell walls again, attacking the actual cell, the fungal cells, and uh, it also kills fungal pathogens. So this does a number of different things to the actual disease cells. So common applications, um, common diseases, this is injected for oak wilt, Dutch elm disease, sycamore and brachnose, apple scab on um, ornamental apple trees, so mainly crab apples, uh, the 2EE, which is a kind of a, a label, a secondary label additive, uh, carries laurel wilt, fusarium wilt, Ganoderma on palms, thousand canker. Uh, if it's sprayed, it's quite effective against powdery mildew, rust, leaf spots, scabs, blights, uh, turf anthracnose. Not, I wouldn't spray this for sycamore anthracnose, but um, turf anthracnose, this will be uh, quite effective. So doing a, a few sample applications, 
a couple at the the low rate and then one at the high rate. Uh, so crab apples, we got a 10-inch crab apple with apple scab. We're going to use the low rate, which is 10 milliliters per inch diameter. So 10 mils uh, per inch diameter is going to mean 100 milliliters total of propiconazole. Mixing that at a one-to-one -one ratio with water, so my total application is going to be 200 milliliters of solution. That's going to cost about $7 and should take about 15 to 20 minutes to get that all done. Uh, we've got a 30-inch sycamore tree with anthracnose. So again, at the low rate, 10 mils per inch, that's going to be 300 milliliters of, prop of propazole, one-to-one uh, -one ratio with water, so another 300 mils of water. Total dilution is 600 milliliters of solution. That's going to be $21. Uh, and again, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes to get that done and into the tree. And then oak wilt, uh, we've got a red oak, 48 inches in diameter. Uh, it has oak wilt. Oak wilt label is only labeled at the high rate, so you got to go at 20 mils per inch. So 20 mils per inch, that's going to be 960 milliliters of water, or of propiconazole, mixing that with the same volume of water. So my total application solution is 1,920 milliliters, so just about two liters of solution getting in there. Now, that sounds like a lot, but um, when you drive around and you see guys that are chaining a, a pressurized keg of solution to the tree and having to leave it overnight, maybe even two nights, to get it in there, uh, two liters turns out to not be a whole lot. Um, oak wilt treatments are pretty expensive. Uh, so this 48-inch tree would cost you $67.20 in product. Um, but again, you're looking at 20 to 30 minutes on a good day. A uh, bad day might take you an hour to get there. But again, that's a lot better than a 55-gallon keg getting chained to a tree for a couple days. So how did I get those costs? Uh, Propozole is $69.99 per liter. So a liter is 0 0.0699 cents, so we're going to call it 7 cents. At the 10 mil rate, you're looking at 70 cents per inch. At the 20 mil rate, that's $1.40 per inch. And then you simply take your whatever rate you're going to use, whether it's the high rate or the low rate, and multiply that cost by your diameter to get your cost of product for that tree. Application timing. Uh, there's a few different things to look at. You do want to put this product in when the tree is transpiring. Um, when you have, if you're treating for oak wilt, especially in the upper Midwest, so Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Ohio, Illinois, uh, that area, there's uh, a couple insects that are flying around between May 15th and June 15th, give give or take a couple weeks based on if your spring starts late or early, um, that can vector the oak wilt pathogen. So you want to wait until after that insect stops flying to actually drill your holes and put your product in. Uh, putting those, drilling those holes in the tree, it has been found to be an actual attractor to those oak trees. They're like, hey, I can get in there even if you do use a plug. So for oak wilt treatments in the upper Midwest, you're looking at waiting until after June, 6, uh, June 15th to make those oak wilt applications with propozole. Uh, they haven't found that same insect vectoring the pathogen down in Texas, so that is just more get it in when you can. Um, if you're looking at injecting for anthracnose, uh, laurel wilt, anadarma, any uh, kind of any of those other ones, crab apple, uh, sca apple scab on crab apples, or other ornamental um, fruit trees. Uh, those are kind of your early emergers, and you're really you're going to have really good coverage if you get those in towards the end of fall, right before or the middle end of summer, early fall, before the leaves fall off. So again, you want to put this in when the tree is transpiring. So if you're in the 
you know, the northern part where it gets cold. Um, you know, avoid winter time. Uh, if you're in the south, then go right ahead. Uh, oak wilt, you want to wait until after m the middle of June to make that application. And if you're going after any of the other lethal diseases, you kind of want to get that done the fall before your next growing season. So for any lethal disease, you want to treat that as soon as possible, given fitting in the rest of those parameters. And so finally, the label and FDS, again, this is a systemic fungicide. Uh, you can inject or spray depending on the disease and your target, uh, so what plant you're going after. Signal word is warning. It's a 14.3% propiconazole, which is very standard. Uh, basically, every other prop on the market is a 14.3 solution as well. However, ours is designed for injection. Propazole is toxic to fish, so do not apply this directly to water, areas where surface water is present, or to intertidal areas below the mean high water mark. When not in use, store this in a climate-controlled unit. So don't leave it in the, bed, in, the, in the bed of your truck or in the cab of your truck. You want to, overnight, you want to put this in climate control. So uh, keep it at a high heat, low temperatures. Uh, do not use or store near open flame. It's designed to be used with Arbor Jet equipment if you're doing injections. So, and because of the high volumes, you're looking at getting really good usage out of this for F-series or tree IV systems. Um, it, there are a couple diseases out in California that also require a triage application. If you're doing both triage and propazole in the same day, the triage going in first will work as, the, as your dilution. So you can actually inject propazole straight if you're dealing with a triage and propazole application. So it can be applied undiluted if used during a piggyback application. But generally, it's best to dilute this at at least a one-to-one -one ratio of propazole to water. Uh, if you're looking at a tree that's a little bit more struggling, uh, needs some water, I would dilute it more kind of up to a one-to-three ratio, so one part propazole to three parts water and then you're definitely going to want to move up to one of those F-series or IVs because you're dealing with um, anywhere from 20 to 40 milliliters of water uh, of solution at the low rate and 40 to 80 at the high rate. So example of a low rate application, uh, just another quick reminder of this. So low rates, 10 milliliters per inch. You want to multiply that by your diameter, so that's 240 milliliters. Adding your equivalent volume of water, so another 240, so your total solution is 480. At the high rate, all that's doubled, so 20 milliliters per inch. So multiply the 20 by the 24, so now you're going to have 480 milliliters of propazole at an equal amount of water. So now your total solution is 960 milliliters. Tree dosage, tree dosage table for microinjection, microinfusion. Uh, again, it's just a quick reference for inch dBH by volume of propazole and volume of water. Uh, if you're using a stinger tip, you should disinfect your tip in between trees. Uh, and that also being said, if, you're, if you know your tree is infected, you should disinfect your drill bit, at least in between trees, if not even in between uh, drill locations on the same tree. So retreatment, you'll want to at least go back and check that tree after 12 months. Uh, you might have miscalculated how, how severe the infection is. So you can retreat every 12 months with this. You don't have to wait two years. It's at least the one year typically you're going to find that you can get 18 to 24 months in between injections. But you should at least check after 12 months to make sure that you, your initial uh, assumption of how badly the tree was infected is correct. When applied preventatively, applications should be considered 12 to 36 months after, uh, after initial injection. Again, you want to check that 12-month, keep an eye on it. If 
you do see any uh, any symptoms come back, you'll want to go ahead and retreat. And then, like with all re -app uh, new application sites, they should be two inches above or below and either left or right of the initial injection so that you're avoiding that um, compartmentalized tissue. So this is not actually for macro infusion in California and in New York and those two states. This is only for micro injection, micro infusion. So not something to be mixed up with 55 gallons of water. Um, this is just for, the, in those two states, uh, we were able to get this product in there just as a micro application. It can be, uh, though, ex ex except for California and New York, you can use macro infusion. So if your tree is in severe need of water and it just can't get it through normal uptake, you can do a macro infusion of this. Um, so there is a specific label for it. You're looking at a five inch diameter tree needing 50 milliliters of propozole and then you're diluting that into five liters of, of water. So again, um, better to have a tree that's well watered and get a, a micro injection because that five liters could take you a while to get in there. You know, then you're getting up to a normal sized oak tree, like 30 to 40 inches, and now you're looking at 400 milliliters of propozole and 40 liters of of water. So that's almost 10 gallons. Oak wilt again. Uh, oak wilt is usually the high rate in the upper Midwest. You're treating after June 15th because wounds between May 15th and June 15th typically attract insects that can carry your oak wilt pathogens. And you do want to sterilize those drill bits and needles in between injection sites or tr at least your trees. Propozole does have a turf label. If you do turf spraying, uh, it's a great product for anthracnose, red thread, brown patch, dollar spot, fusarium, gray leaf spots, snow molds, whether it's pink or gray snow mold. Um, for those of you in areas that do get snow, uh, snow mold, pink snow mold actually doesn't need snow to develop. Doesn't need, gray snow mold does need snow coverage, but pink snow mold does not. It just needs colder temperatures and then hovering around the 30 to 40 degree mark with um, with uh, moisture. Uh, take all patch, yellow patch, those of you that deal with warm season grasses, zoysia, pa zoysia patch can be treated with propozole as well. If you are uh, disease control in nurseries and landscape plantings, uh, mixing instructions uh, depend on your severity of infection. You can go anywhere from two fluid ounces to 24 fluid ounces into 100 gallons of water. Obviously, if you're going preventative, you can go on a low rate. Uh, if you're looking at curative, you want to step it up, kind of closer to that 24 fluid ounces. And then from that solution, you're applying four to eight of that fluid ounces, spraying it onto your plant tissue every 14 to 28 days. So if you go at the higher rate, you can space your uh, space your product that your sprays out a little bit more. If you're staying, you want to do more of a spoon feeding where you're applying just a little bit of it, your reapplication timings are going to be tighter together. So if the disease is already present, uh, it would be recommended to mix this with an EPA registered contact fungicide. Uh, this will attack the disease that is there, but a contact will also take care of uh, fighting it from the outside in while the propozole is fighting it from the inside out. And then finally, the SDF sheet uh, signal word is warning. Uh, this is off of the one gallon size. It also comes in a one liter size. Uh, so again, it's going to tell you 14.3% propiconazole. Kind of gives you the, the chemical name, which I am not going to try to say right now. Uh, it is, propozole is from the triazole family. There's a number of those out there as well. And obviously you get the EPA registration number. So that's it for propozole this morning.
Does anyone have any questions?